we're chasing new waves. And waves bring us new perspectives and sensations. But the truth is that behind each wave, there is a place. And every place holds a story. Africa was the destination. And with COVID logistics at the time, it was a hustle to get there. Bem-vindo ao São Tomé. É uma ilha leve, leve. Leve, leve. É quem tiver pressa não vai lugar nenhum. Tudo leve, leve. We felt welcome from the very first moment, and we knew where we had to begin our journey, Club Santana. Club Santana is the center of the surf community in São Tomé. It was created by Paul Shell in 2013. Nowadays, Ailton is the responsible for the place, and he is doing an amazing job. Surfing changed his life, and he's changing others' lives through it. Along with our friend GG Vidal, they showed me around, and we shared some priceless moments. Surfing here is a completely different vibe than Portugal. No hustling, it's all about sharing the moment with the people you're with. It is just so raw and small things that we take for granted, like a fin or even a piece of wax, is something that is valued here. <laughs> just feeling the joy and the energy of the place is pretty special, man. Really, really stoked to be here. Yeah, for sure, people are easygoing. But life here, it's not. It is hard and offers little space beyond just surviving. It's a humble way of living, and for women especially, it is even harder. There's not much space to dream, and it is most likely that their fate is to be domestic and raise children. All the struggles the country experiences as one of the poorest nations in Africa meant that women's rights and empowerment was left behind. Surfing is still what drives me in the first place. That's why I had to go and find out about SOMA. SOMA stands for Surfistas Orgulhosas da Mulher de África. That means something like Proud African Women Surfers. And they do exactly what their name states. They empower women. 
Twice a week, a group of 20 girls from 6 to 20 years old take surf lessons from local surfers. Learning something new, pushing yourself and working together brings them strength and freedom. And on a male-dominated society, that is not a small thing. I've always felt like surfing is a way of self-expression. And I'm glad someone is out there helping these girls feel the same way. Their smile says it all. hunting. It's part of human's nature and on this island it is no different. But how far should we go? We're down south. We're about to go on a boat trip. We're gonna check out the turtles. It's a project that they investigate what's happening with the turtles in Saint Tomé. A little stormy, but <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll hang tight on the boat and I think it's going to be an amazing experience. Eu, antes de entrar para o programa Tatu, fui um capturador da tartaruga. Fui contra o projeto no início porque eu gostava muito de carne de tartaruga, gostava dos ovos. Depois de alguns anos na conversa, sensibilização, houve aqui um, uma interrogação e pude entender que a espécie já estava em via de extinção. Mala Story and the Tato Program reminded me of one thing about new beginnings. It's never too late to change. Never too late to do the right thing. From being a hunter and seeing those turtles as a feed, they're now dedicating their lives to track, monitor, and protect them from extinction. Dois anos para cá, nós já estamos a ter um equilíbrio da tartaruga marinha no mar. As pessoas deveriam dedicar mais à natureza, porque se nós paramos para entender O mar começa de terra. Onde é que vem a poluição do mar? É na terra. E se porventura nós teremos um controle sobre o lixo da terra, não só lixo, falo das fábricas, falo de muitas outras coisas que têm poluído o oceano e também têm matado muitas espécies de peixe que já não temos, nós teríamos um mar sustentável. New beginnings can happen at any time in your life. Sometimes when you're full grown up man, other times right when you're a kid at school. So yeah, we just got here. We're gonna visit the school, Sage da Kashka, connect with the kids, they're gonna ask a few questions. Thank 
praias. Então, às vezes, reunimos muita gente, amigos, pessoas que se preocupam com as praias e com as ondas. Juntamos todos o lixo que apanhámos todos, fazemos a seleção do lixo, o plástico, o metal, o vidro, o papel, as beatas dos cigarros e depois separamos e vai para a reciclagem, para depois esse lixo ser transformado em novos produtos. Dar uma segunda vida às coisas. No one will save the world on its own. So bringing everyone together from an early age is very important. These kids fill me up with optimism. But more than that, they give me a sense of duty and responsibility. You see, it's their world we're taking care of now. And, as I painfully came to learn, although I feel hopeful about everything, I have to say, we are not doing so well so far. It looks beautiful on the pictures, but then you come and you see the reality and yep, it's right in your face, can't ignore it. Meu nome é Cid Zé da Cruz Domingos. Agora neste momento eu assumo a responsabilidade da incineradora. Faço a queima dos lixos perigosos. O lixo em si, a reciclagem do lixo, aqui nós não conseguimos fazer. Aí está a lata, está a agulha, está tudo. Basco, não vai e é, tu não vais pegar aquele lixo e levar para a lixeira é. para ir fazer queimagem, porque não não, 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 não é o primeiro Vocês já falaram para a lixeira, não? Não, foi, não, não conhece a lixeira de penha? Não. Vocês querem ir para lá agora? Bom, vamos lá dar o check. Pergunto, há Vê razões para esse lixo estar? Assim? Não. não, não. O contentor tem espaço e tinha espaço de contentor para levar. Yeah. A nossa cabeça rígida. This is the kind of sight that makes me wonder if it's still worth it. Just baffled to see the situation in São Tomé. You know, how can people get things out of control and lead to this situation, you know? We have so much work to do. This is everyone's responsibility and so everyone must be involved. A lot of habits need to be changed. I'm no different to anyone else. I still use plastic sometimes. I don't always make the right choices. I'm here talking about protecting our planet, but even to get here I had to fly on a plane. But being aware of the task at hand, that is also a new beginning. And looking at this, although I felt desperation, you know what I felt? That we just can't give up. Club Santana at the meeting point. We're gonna do a beach cleanup meeting here with the local kids and surfer crew from this local spot. The importance of the kids involved is to know that the beach is a place where we are going to pass our time, not to pass our time to the sofa, to take a bath. For this reason, we have to maintain the space for the space. Obrigado aí por estarem aí todos presentes, terem comparecido aqui. Muitos estão aí a questionar porque é que estamos aqui a fazer uma limpeza de praia. Uma limpeza de praia é algo simbólico que estamos a fazer, que é para transmitir para as pessoas terem o cuidado de limpar as praias, de não deitar lixo no chão, de cuidar do seu lixo. We all have a long road ahead of us, a journey that we'll have to walk through on small steps. 
every little gesture, every local initiative, every moment of insight. All that counts. And doing your best in your own reality is everything you can ask for. Obrigado aí. Não custa nada. Cada vez que vimos à praia, se encontramos o plástico no chão, colher, levar para casa, deitar no lixo. São pequenas ações que vão fazer a diferença no futuro. What we lived in São Tomé was far more special than most of the waves I've ever seen. From the joy of the kids, to the women taking on new challenges, fishermen changing the way they used to live, the strong sense of community. We all have the right to live in a world we know this can become. We're here to share a story we found, a story that built itself. And it's not over, we're still growing. Thank <laughs> you. 